ஐ ஆம் டாக்டர் பி தீபா ஃப்ரம் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி இன் ஸ்ரீராம் நல்லமணி யாதவா காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் கொடிக்குறிச்சி தென்காசி டுடே சிசன் இஸ் அபவுட் கிரேட் ரிஃபார்மர்ஸ் ஆஃப் இந்தியா இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டூரிங் த பிரிட்டிஷ் ரூல் த இண்டியன் ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் சொசைட்டி அண்டர்வேண்ட் சம் சீரியஸ் ரெஃபர்மேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் சேஞ்சஸ் especially in terms of social norms in the 19th century irrational social norms like the caste system sadi bada polygamy child marriage and female infanticide were changed during the british rule in india the british government also helped in the development of influencing social norms like widow marriage for the development and empowerment of women in traditional indian society Swami Vivekananda in the 19th century Swami Vivekananda was considered a pioneering figure in India worked towards bringing massive social reforms to society in 1886 Sri Ramakrishna passed away leaving all his disciplines and social reforms works to be directed by Swami Vivekananda in 1888 he founded the Ramakrishna mission Swami Vivekananda a renowned scholar and a philosopher of the time working in different fields as he was very much inclined to Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa of selfless work for mankind and humanity according to Swami Vivekananda women had power to build a nation and shape the future thus should be given proper education he believed that all the religious tech peace harmony humanity through different ways but with one common goal he was modern thinker and tried instilling modern and western education in women women rights of so education for lower section of society and all he paid more attention and focus on instilling technical and industrial training on us considering the economic prospects of the masses he has taken some pioneer steps in productivity and the eradication of poverty Swami ji took great pride in India's cultural history in the past as per his concept India free of poverty removal of illiteracy dignity for all human liberty free from all monopolies with a socially strong and a culturally sound he stood against a feudal and a colonial oppression Raja Ram Mohan Rai Raja Ram Mohan Rai was born in Radha Nagar situated in the Hubli district of Bengal presidency on May 22 1772 He is the greatest reformer of his time and called as the father of the Indian Renaissance due to, due to his significant contributions to the social and upliftment abolishment in human evil customs and practices He is the person behind the Brahma Samaj. According to Raja Ram Mohan Roy, the evil customs prevailing in the society needed to be shunned, thereby he crushed for the abolishment several orthodox practices. He condemned Volikami, the Sadi system, the Bardha system, women's illiteracy, child marriage, and uh, he demanded equal treatment of Indians and Europeans. Rai's voice to the Sadi system, segregate the executive from the judiciary he demanded to exercise imposition of tax on the otherwise tax free lands the title of raja was granted to ram mohan roy by the mohal emperor akbar ii raja ram mohan roy quoted at the as the obstacle of religious revival by the netaji subhas chandra bose Bala Gangadhar Tilak he was born in 23rd July 1856 he was on indian nationalist teacher and our independence activities the british colonial authorities called him the father of indian interest he was also conferred with the title of lokmanya which means accepted by the people as their leader the mahatma gandhi called him the maker of modern india his famous slogan swaraj is my birthright and i shall have it the period between 1900 and 1908 is characterized by the birth of revolutionary nationalism in india his strong sense of realism came forth with a four point program of sudesi boycott 
national education and swarajya thus involving the people in different activities and enabling them to contribute to the freedom struggle he evolved programs such as shivaji jayanti and ganesh puja with the sole motive of bringing people together he demand demand only for sampurna swarajya sarojini naidu she was born to bengali parents in 1879 when she was only 17 years old and married muttaya govindarajulu naidu 2 years later although it was on intercaste marriage govindarajulu naidu beginning being on non brahmin she joined the indian national movement during the protest against the partition of bengal in 1905 she blanked into the freedom struggle full time and also fight for women's rights In 1908, Indian National Social Conference, Sarojini Naidu pushed a resolution demanding educational facilities for widows, establishing women's homes and removing obstacles in the remarriage of widows. In 1917, Sarojini Naidu set up the Women's Indian Association with Anni Prashant and others. In 1925, she became the first Indian woman president of Indian National Congress. She addressing the Patna session of Women's Conference, she spoke against the system of Bada and invited women to abandon the veil. Sarojin Naidu demanded the equal political rights for women by constitution. Dr. Muthlakshmi Reddy She was born in 30 July 1886 at Thirukko Karnam, Tamil Nadu. She was appointed to the Meros Legislative Council in 1926. It was the notable beginning for her lifelong effort to the service for women by removing social abuses and working for equality. She was the first women student of Meros Medical College, first women house surgeon in the government maternity and ophthalmic hospital. the first women legislator in british india the first chairperson of the state of social welfare advisory board the first women in the madras corporations she built a way home in 1953 she was the first female doctor in india in 1912 she contributed to the upliftment of women and children she was a role model among women made them realize how education was important to improve their rights the establishment of madras children aid society was an important step taken by the women's india association towards child welfare in the madras presidency the madras children act was passed in 1920 by addressed of dr muthlakshmi reddy muthlakshmi reddy was the pioneer thinker of women policy policy stations with women uh, constable uh, women constables were unthinkable in her days she was suggested the madras government for medical inspections for girls in secondary and elementary school she attained prominence by her matchless contributions as a women social reformer and fearless fighter for gender equality